Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome back to Liu Live Everything in Wonder. This is our fourth and last episode of our serious blast from the past in Canada. We had COVID for three weeks and we were really, really sick. <coughs> so we decided to show you some unpublished footage of our van life adventure in Canada. Minus 22 degrees outside. We are stuck here. What happened between Edmonton and Chicago? It was time to fill the gap. Before starting, we would like to give you an update. We are feeling better and we tested negative for COVID. We are on demand, we still have some symptoms, but we are getting better. And starting from next week, we will give you more details and updates about our pregnancy, our baby and our lives. Stay tuned, but now let's start. If you're new here, we are Luca and Sara from Liu Live Everything and Wonder. We traveled from Alaska to Argentina with an $800 old truck camper. And when we returned to Italy, we converted our minivan Luigi into a beautiful tiny home on wheels to be able to explore more of this beautiful world. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel to enjoy the adventures of a curious Italian couple. Good morning, Sara! Good morning! So last night uh, we slept right here. <laughs> exactly here. Tonight uh, Sara is up doing uh, a guacamole. So now she's cutting all the garlic. As you can see, she's cutting the garlic in little, little pieces. Yeah. And then she has the avocado there ready to go. Extra virgin olive oil. Avocado, garlic, and some chili peppers. Red hot chili peppers. Okay, the judge. Mm. This guacamole is fantastic, spectacular. I will eat it all. Breakfast with banana, cereals, blueberries, vanilla yogurt, and a little bit of maple syrup. There is a, a lake and a, a river, some waterfalls. And uh, now uh, we will go and show you the waterfalls. Next to waterfalls, we are on the Lakewood Highway number 71. It is one of the waterfalls you can find really really close to the highway. During the winter all the facilities for the um, travelers uh, with uh, RV, campers and uh, whatever are closed for the season. So there is no toilet, there are no uh, fireplace, uh, no, no camping no spot. information office open. Yeah all the information points, all the information office are closed. Watch out it's all frozen the stairs so here we are Sara say again the name of the waterfalls Nestor waterfalls what's the plan for today we would like to arrive uh, to Thunder Bay uh, almost 500 k's from here. It's a long, uh, it's a long, long, long drive. Yeah, it's not. Uh, we are not on the highway. You could just go straight and you arrive. It's all full of lakes and full of small towns. And it's up and down, up and down. It's not uh, all flat, but it's. Uh, yeah. It's up and down, and it's snowing a lot. Right now you cannot see it, but it's snowing. There is a lot of snow on the road. I have a wish. I would like a shower today. Do you want a lift? Yes! Jump on! Let's Las go. Vegas! Las Vegas! Let's go! We are starting on highway number 11, behind the trees. It's Minnesota and we are in Canada, in Ontario. 
here we are and you see where the river is this is the border with the United States slowly slowly it's getting a little bit warmer we went south now it's a uh, uh, four Celsius degrees below zero. Yesterday, the day before, was always eight, nine, ten, uh, fifteen. Uh, always a colder place. So it's a good thing because we have to find a place uh, where the temperature is higher than zero because we have to dump. We couldn't dump till now because it's all frozen. We are not using uh, the water of the camper. We are using bottled water because we can heat the water, otherwise they will, it will be frozen ice. So hopefully we will find this weather, that condition uh, to be able to dump. Next time, next time uh, we are going that direction to USA. Now we are going left. We are going east to Toronto. We have more 1,800 Ks reach Toronto. This is the little town called Fort France. We were looking for a coin shower but we cannot find it and we asked for it but they told us there is no shower here. Unfortunately. How long uh, since the last shower? So? Better not to say it. So uh, really shower, a shame. The last shower we had was in uh, don't, don't say it, don't Jennifer's say it, house. don't say it. So, how many weeks ago was that? 11 days ago. 11 days Or 12. Ago. Yeah. We are trying to, to wash ourselves with the cold water, with ice. It's not cool. Ah, finally one day. <laughs> We will miss the lakes. We stop for some lunch. So the menu is uh, rice, rice with um, butter and cheese. Uh, and cheese, and, and then Italian flowers with uh, uh, soy, soy sauce. sauce, vinegar balsamic vinegar and um, extra, extra virgin oil and it's really good okay after a longer search because it's not so easy to always to park on the road because there are a lot of private roads we decide to to go and check this this this, this road here Root recalculation after one kilometer turn right. Look where the snow is. It's really high. This will be our spot for tonight. Tonight, uh, Chef Sara made an amazing fish, white fish with uh, uh, tomato sauce and um, olives. I love it. And uh, an amazing uh, potato puree. Now, it's time to eat. Good morning. Good morning. Some tea. It's getting warmer here, it's 
minus, minus five, so it's better than before. We are looking for a shower. It's full of lakes, uh, all these trees with all the snow, these big rocks, uh, you see, it's nice. It's not all flat uh, like it was before. I like this kind of view and this kind of place. Also because uh, it's full of little roads uh, that goes into the bush uh, and uh, nobody goes there. Maybe in the winter nobody goes there. So it's good because uh, you can get one of these roads and uh, all the snow is powder, nobody has been there. So you go on the snow and you're the first one going there, you sleep there and nobody comes. Uh, so it's really cool. It's different to be here in the winter time because everything is closed. Uh, all the facilities normally are open from May till October and October or September sometimes and then it's here is completely quiet and it is difficult for, for uh, someone that is traveling with a camper because you cannot find any campground open or shower for example. Luckily we are we were able we are able to find gasoline and fuel so and food. Here she is, Sara, with Highway 11. Uh, yeah, 11 is, is my favorite number and means a lot to me. Kakabeka Falls. Uh, here we are, and now we are going at these waterfalls. Just leave our camper there. Let's go. When skies are falling, please believe this, I will be here to pick up the pieces. When lies are crawling around in your head, I will remind you, you're here Finally, we had the shower. We didn't pay anything because with the ASCII reward card, 50 points each. Yeah, every time you make uh, some fuel, you fill up uh, the tank, uh, you get some uh, some points, uh, and then you can use it uh, either to have a discount on the fuel or either uh, to take a shower. One shower was without towels, seven dollars. With the towels, uh, ten dollars. We have to do 1,400 kilometers uh, to reach Toronto, but uh, with this car we go really slow. So, like Google Maps now says that in uh, 15 hours we will get there, but actually uh, the speed limits here are 90 k per hour, but we always go 70 or 80 kilometers per hour. So, actually we will take. Uh, much longer. As soon as it gets dark, uh, we stop. Uh, so it's uh, not many hours uh, during the day that we drive. We want to see, we want to drive and be able to see the wildlife, to see the nature, fauna and flora. Yeah. And we stop, uh, we to say we are not going so fast, and then we stop many times because we want to see, I don't know, the falls, provincial park, regional parks, make a hike, make some pictures, some video, use the drone. So we are going slowly and we stop a lot and we we stop the car, the truck when it's, when it's getting dark. And uh, the thing that I love more, I love to stop uh, for uh, lunch uh, 
make a fire and cook the meat on the fire. That's it's my like I love it. I love it. Unfortunately, today we get the shower, so we cannot make the barbecue anymore. When you are clean, you just realize that everything is stinky. Everything, the car, the camper, your your clothes. Tomorrow we will make barbecue for sure. To make uh, 15 hours, uh, we will take probably some days. <laughs> the superior lake it's like a sea oh yeah there are five big lakes here in Ontario and this is one of them And actually, I don't know what we will find there. Maybe a lake? Let's go back on the road. the White Lake Provincial Park. It's full of snow, nobody's here, but the gate was open, so we just decided to spend the night here. We're trying, we'll see what happens. Yeah, anche c'è un altro fire pit, the beauty fire pit, con i tavoli. Ta-da! Our home for tonight. White Lake Provisional Park. We are the only one in the camping. It's huge here. Huge. With you I can be sad With you Just take my hand It's been so cold since you 
Number three in the middle of the way. No trace of any human being here, just animals. And, and us. Luca and I. <laughs> okay, the way is clear again. We can go. Terza. No, sto il legno. No, se sarà rotta la macchina. Sara was able to cut the tree all alone. I was put in the fuel because we finished the fuel, so I had to grab the fuel from there. I cut this piece here. I'm really proud of myself. Let's see if this helps or not. Yahoo! Uh oh. <laughs> Maybe not. And there we go, we are free! Look at that! We are free, let's go! So here, as you can see, there is a gate, it's closed, so we will let the truck park here 
and we'll go by foot. Just following Sarah by foot. She's the guide. Let's go by foot. And as you can see, another tree there. You already had to take off how many trees, Sarah? Four. Four th trees we had to take off the road. The one was the, the worst one. It was terrible, eh? Yeah. We had to cut it in three pieces, and Sarah cut it in two. I was really angry. I said, okay, now you want to see me? In action. Do you want to really fly with me? She became like a, you do you know, Hulk. She yeah. became all green. Look how big are these. <laughs> jumping. It's a, the jumpers. It's a jumper. We are walking back to the car because we walked for 45 minutes, then we check on uh, the GPS where we were and we were in the middle of the forest, we weren't going to the lake, so uh, we decided to go back to the car because we have a lot of road to do today, a lot of miles to do. So we are going back with the snow, you can see all the footprints of all the wildlife and uh, let's see we saw some uh, like uh, wolf uh, and uh, rabbits uh, jumpers uh, and a uh, lot of animals it's probably a fox you can see they are really near one to the other one it's like a dog these ones are like rabbits pam 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 you can see a jumping bang 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 boing boing So what do you want to do Sara make some trails I want to try to dump okay. the sunny dump and then I think it's time to hit the road again Yes, because let's say it's the first time that uh, the temperature is um, it's higher than uh, zero degrees. It's two degrees now Celsius. So, it's so hot now. Yeah, really it's, it's really warm. So probably we will be able to do the dump because uh, all the ice inside the camper is starting to melt. So let's try. We are not able to dump because it's, it's all ice inside, so yeah, you cannot so open. That's not working, so let's wait to go east and see if we can do something. Oh, dump, dump. My dump. We the boom, White River, where everything began. You got a selfie with Winnie the Pooh? Yes, I have a selfie with Winnie the Pooh. Good morning. So last night uh, we just arrived here and uh, we decided to park here and sleep here. But we are at the end of the road. As you can see, the road ends here. And um, there uh, came a guy outside that house. It was really dark. It was quite scary and uh, he told us uh, what what are you up like uh, what are you doing here and we just explained we were looking for a place where to sleep for a, a night national, a national park actually because on the map we saw that there, there was a national park here but the map was wrong was wrong and uh, then I was talking with him I said we are from Italy we're traveling blah 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 and then uh, Sara show up so he relaxed, uh, he was, ah, okay, cool, cool, cool. And uh, he just went back home to sleep. And uh, we slept here, it's really windy now. And we have the lake uh, just here. I think 
think they use this to put the boats in yeah. the water. A few days before we arrived here, the weather was really good, it was warm. As you can see, there is no, no snow anymore. It was a lot of rain, rain, rain. And uh, the temperature was good. This morning it's really windy, it's not uh, raining anymore. And uh, the temperature is zero degrees. Uh, so it can start freezing, but uh, we already dump all the water we had in the in the tanks, grey waters and black waters. And uh, we already put some um, specific uh, liquid to don't make the, uh, the water freeze. So it's all good. We are uh, 700 k's uh, far from Toronto, so... On our Ooh. way. Highway 17, uh, slowly, slowly, because uh, we cannot uh, go fast with this big, massive uh, Lucky Liu. But uh, we keep going. Yay! 69, Toronto! Let's go! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! <laughs> Toronto, we are coming. I can uh, finally see our uh, destination on the signs. Our journey destination, not all, all not for all the trip, but, but uh, you know, step by step, step by step. So many things happened to us. We met so many people, we have done so many things, and it's amazing. It's just yeah. the beginning. Just the beginning. And it was truly just the beginning of our expedition, of our adventure. A few days later we were able to reach Toronto, we spent two weeks in Toronto and then we started our adventure south. We know many of you join us uh, from South America. We invite you to check out uh, our playlist uh, section where you can find playlists for each country that we crossed or the entire expedition. We hope you enjoyed this series in Canada. We hope you enjoyed this episode. If so, show it to us, smashing the thumbs up button. Hit the notification bell and please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel if you haven't done already. It's very important to us. It means a lot to us. We would like to say thank you to our Patreon, to all the donators, to every and each one of you that comment on our video, that like our video. We would like also to thank everyone who helped us uh, buying something on our wish list uh, on Amazon uh, for our baby girl. We couldn't find all the emails of the people that send us a gift, a present. So thank you, thank you very much. Stay tuned because the next episode we will tell you more about our lives and our pregnancy. The Italian words for today's video are È solo l'inizio. It's just the beginning. Dall'Alaska all'Argentina. From Alaska to Argentina. Avventura. Adventure. È solo l'inizio. It's just the beginning. Dall'Alaska all'Argentina. From Alaska to Argentina. Avventura. Adventure. We love you. We appreciate you. Thank you for coming along with us. And we will see you next Sunday. And remember, la vita è bella. Life is beautiful. Ciao. Ciao. You.